Of course, Thanksgiving is going to be in full swing in kitchens all over the country. That could cause some serious problems, though, for our furry friends. From the food to the crowds, Thanksgiving can be hard on dogs and cats. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield explains how you can protect your pets from surprising turkey day dangers. This is Zeke. His mom adopted him a year and a half ago. Now the Roseville family is growing. So I'm fostering Nugget right now, and he's nine weeks old. She's also anticipating the biggest meal of the year. To make um, the traditional like mashed potatoes, they're my favorite. A little bit. But as we found out from a bet, Thanksgiving cravings can come at a cost. I mean, there's new smells, there's new people, there's new foods. Exactly. It's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot for us, and it's even more for a dog. She says these foods that are so good to us can be so bad for them. She says onions, chives, and garlic can cause digestive problems, and so can these popular snacks. They can actually cause kidney failure, uh, and it's, uh, it's usually fatal. So just wow. keep away from grapes and raisins. That's kind of the easy thing to say. She also says chocolate, guacamole, and nuts are no-nos. And on this holiday, you shouldn't throw a dog a bone. Raw or cooked bones for turkeys, just because they're so small and fragile, they can really cause a lot of issues. They can cause choking hazards. They can um, actually block the intestines and require emergency surgeries. Another landmine for animals like Nugget are garbage cans because they're full of those foods they shouldn't eat. So it's important to keep them closed. <laughs> Dr. Angelica says it's also important to be an advocate for your dog, giving them extra love when they may be overwhelmed by guests. And it is okay to let them indulge on sweet potatoes, pumpkin, or carrots, and let them know that you are thankful. It's just that they have like a lot of love to give. They're always there, ready to give you some kisses. In Roseville, Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. Dr. Angelica says that bones from the pet store are just fine. And a note, Nugget will be available for adoption through the Animal Humane Society next week. And how cute is that Nugget? I'd start calling right now if you I want know, Nugget. I know, really? That dog's adorable. adorable. Yeah, very cute. They both were. Yeah. So.